All right, guys, you're here with MVI, and today we've got a big rig. This is actually a 44-foot uh, toy hauler. And we're gonna put our uh, wireless camera on this guy. We've already done the cameras on the truck, which I'll show you here in a minute, but uh, we'll get up here and show you what's going on. Just kind of wanted to give you an idea of what we're doing here. So this one was equipped with the Furion in the back. I'll show you that here in a second. I've already taken it off. I had to, guys. And I'll show you why here in a second. Let me get up there and get a little bit closer uh, view of things. We'll show you what we're doing. All right, guys, you're here live with MVI. And as I said earlier, we are doing a big camera project on a, uh, a toy hauler, actually. It's a uh, motocross hauler. But it's going to be good for your RVs and whatnot. Um, and then we've also got this uh, 2017 GMC Denali Dually that we're putting some cameras all the way around. So to start, um, this is going to be a quick little install overview of the third brake light camera and the wireless camera receiver. So as you can see, we've already got the... Uh, um, camera mounted under the third brake light and pulled over so you are going to want to route this to the um, right side of the vehicle guys pull down uh, this C panel basically it's called the C pillar um, seven millimeter there pull that down that'll let you get access to under here and pull the cables through with the fish wire, which I'm going to show you here in a second. Um, so run it along, tape it nice and neat. Some things I'll point out. Make sure this guy here is fully inserted when you're doing it. There are some alignment arrows, and I'm not getting a, the best angle right now, but make sure that is fully inserted into there. And then I don't know if you can see right there, but I've got some tape going on on the connector. Video's not really showing things like I want it to, but that's a, uh, a four-pin Molex right there that we're, we've got taped up so it's secure. On the back window, guys, um, the best place for the wireless uh, receiver is going to be right here. So that's all going to be tucked in behind the panel. It's got some double stick tape right here to help out with that. Um, so clean the glass real well with some alcohol, heat it, and then come in here. And as you can see, it's got plenty of room for the window to open and close, the back slider window if you've got that. Okay. So that's going to end up going right about there. And what we did was pull both those up front um, with the fish wire. Okay. So I've got both ends of the camera wires taped to a three foot uh, zip tie. Basically you can get a Home Depot, Lowe's in the electrical section, cut the end off and it makes a good pull wire, pull them both through. So came up through here, again secured down here. Pulled the A-pillar off. This guy just consists of two 10 millimeter bolts behind the access panels. And then this just pulls right off. And as you can see, I've got it zip tied along the sunroof drain and also the other electrical down through here. Pulled through the glove box and then over into here so with all that said guys um <clears throat> you then have our switcher assembly which is going to be right here it's going to have a gray 12 pin plug t harness actually so you're going to unplug it from the hmi okay plug back in plug the factory plug back into our female, obviously that one back in, 
our ends are labeled as to what goes where so in this case I can't really read it we've got the uh, connect to cargo camera and then connect to the wireless camera so everything's spelled out for you so you don't miss anything and then it's gonna have a power wire which you're gonna pull through the dash Come over to this guy right here if you're the full center console this is where you're going to connect if you don't have this full center console you're going to go over underneath the uh, steering column to the bcm and tag to the green plug of the bcm pin 5 over there that will be labeled it's also got a ground wire right here Sorry guys, trying to film this with one camera in my hand and working in the other and watching things. So there'll be an eyelet on it. Typically I still have to install it. And you're gonna put that right there. Unscrew that seven mil. Eyelet will be on there. Seven mil back up, you're good to go. It's just gonna leave this toggle switch. <clears throat> Okay guys, that route through into the cavity and over to this side. And I wanna say it's a 5 16 So, <clears throat> the side panel pulled off. You can kinda see the perfect little spot right here to drill the hole pop it through secure it that way when you you're driving all you got to do is reach down and flip it by your right knee but then obviously this panel is going to go back in all nice and neat um but that's where you're going to want to put that switch so we'll show you the uh rest of the cameras tomorrow and get on the truck or the uh actually the rv that's going to be uh pretty fun to do I'll show you some wireless stuff but for now, that's the uh, third brake light and wireless connection overview. Pretty simple. We try and make it as plug as pay as possible. All right, guys, so we're up here where the Furion bracket was. Um, this was the bracket here. You can kind of see the bolt holes where it was. I had to cover up with some silicone. And because this was there, the factory didn't do a very good job of sealing up the seam right there. So I hadn't went ahead and re-siliconed that, siliconed up the uh, old boat uh, screw holes. Sorry, excuse me. So I'll kind of hold this over, but typically that goes there. And with this door that swings down, because it's a toy hauler, hopefully you guys can see that angle. I'm not getting it very good on my screen, but um, it wouldn't allow the camera to mount and clear the the door coming down so on a regular RV um, I tried to get some more brackets they make a custom bracket that um, will allow you to mount our camera straight to this guy it makes it nice and easy and then the cool thing is there's power right here so um, I'll typically I'm trying to get a supply on these plugs um, for the power adapter but that'll just plug in and you're done good to go um, what I'm going to do here is I uh, covered it with some duct tape and I'm also going to seal it with some silicone as well around there so it's nice and sealed. But if you're not, if you're a regular RV, one thing you got to pay attention to, if you've got an awning back here, um, it does complicate things. I don't know if you can see this. Um, and what we're going to have to do is kind of go all the way around, up and over with an extension cable, up and then to the front of the RV with our antenna extender. If you've got a big rig like these guys, anything over 30 feet, you're definitely gonna want uh, the antenna extender. So I'm gonna uh, show you more as I go along. Let me get back to uh, getting my bracket on there and I'll show you what's up. All right guys, so you can kind of see somewhat finished product here. I got the little pigtail on, that's gonna plug right into our camera. I'm gonna shove that right back through the hole, silicone it up a little bit more and then mount the camera right up there. So I'll be back to show you that outcome. All right guys, so after further testing back here, I kind of jumped the gun, um, 
couldn't flush mount that bracket um, straight to the rig um, because it wasn't allowing the camera to come out far enough um, to accommodate for the antenna. So, uh, with that said, um, all your different setups are gonna vary, guys. So, because this one has this door on the back here, it complicated things more. Yours likely won't have it, likely may not have this awning, which will make things a lot easier. So if you choose to remove that Furion bracket, um, we'll send it with this step out and all the necessary hardware to get this mounted out there where it needs to go. So probably gonna need to you know, give us a call and figure out the best solution for your setup as all the rigs will vary, but most of them can accommodate what we're sending out here. So I'm gonna go ahead and you also notice I've got the um, power adapter in here. So I'm gonna test this real quick, get this mounted, make sure we got power coming through like we're supposed to, and then I'll be back to show you what's next. Hey guys, you're here live with MVI. Nice Saturday afternoon here in Denver, Colorado. Uh, told you I had this project, big toy hauler RV, 45 foot. Um, so the purpose of this video is to get you some footage of the wireless camera and what we can now do. Um, it's definitely been a project. Had to make some alterations as I go. And I've learned that uh, not all these are going to be the same. So you can see, hopefully you can see that. I've got the... Uh, wireless camera up there and I was hoping to do our camera extender over the top sorry about the quality here guys sorry sun glare and everything else so anyway I was hoping to get up on the roof and extend the wireless up there and this thing is just too tall so um, I ended up routing it along the edge up there all the way to the front and even up at the nose it was having a hard time picking up up there because it's so darn tall so we brought her right there and we've got some solid bars so this should pick up rock solid going down the road to see what's behind you um just kind of routed it down there obviously we've got some cleanup to do but down along the hole and then over so let me show you one more thing i forgot to point out back here this uh ladder at the back i've got here for reference and you can also see the rock right there on the ground that's about three and a half foot from the back of the rv uh three and a half four feet so that will um, go down more if you wanted to go more down at the ground or we could take it more out towards the street. But I'm going to go ahead and get you, get you the angle on this, guys. So, some things to point out along the way. This guy does have a tonneau cover. We did do the, uh, the fixed uh, third brake light. So on the site, guys, this is he's going to get rid of this cover. And it'll go away but as you'll see when I show you the video here this isn't gonna shoot over the top of the tonneau to hit the ball which is ultimately what you want so um, make sure if you've got one of these longer tonneau covers that you select the uh, the fixed one on checkout and going around we've got our molded cameras And the front camera right there. Just to kind of give you a quick little overview. We've got the switcher set up that I showed you earlier. Tucked away all nice and neat in there. This is the power for the switcher right here. Um, that Right there, that purple yellow wire that powers it. Ground up under here sheet metal or the tube and then this is just our uh toggle wire which i got mounted right there for you guys so hopefully you can see that i can't really see from yep it's right there so one last thing i'll point out
that's the camera switcher location um, right in there guys tucks in there nice and neat so let me get this fired up for you So the main thing I'll point out, how's the view on that? See it good? Um, access the uh, camera module. Front, obviously that will trigger on. Left, you can obviously see, we can see all the way down the side of the rig in the back. Same with the right. Cool thing is we can now do split so now i'm looking at the tailgate handle camera on the uh the gooseneck of the rv but you can also see both sides of the truck really nice pulling it down the road so you can see exactly what's what's next to you guys um let me get you a better view tailgate handle there's our third brake light which you can see does not see the the gooseneck pop up right about there because this tonneau is just simply too long. So if you've got this, guys, go with the adjustable. You can then bring it up and see things. Cool thing now, though, is the uh, back. So that's the back of our RV looking down the street. And we've got uh, right around three to four bars. Whoops. Going on up there. Um, and you can see where that uh, ladder top is and that's pretty much right up on the uh, door of the hauler and then there's that rock three and a half feet out so you can see we could even bring that rock closer and you could get like a, a two foot distance range whatever so you can see exactly what's behind you and this should be pretty rock solid um, going down the road as well let's watch these bars I'm gonna go ahead and pull forward and we're still solid strength solid strength just lost signal but I'm also about 20 feet away from the actual antenna and then we're even further away um, on the back obviously where the camera's actually at so we're gonna get this out on the road and test it, but I wanted to show you this. Um, I'm gonna get the same thing set up on the site so you can check out a little bit easier. I have found each RV seems to be different, so you may want to pick up the phone and call us to find the best solution for you. But we're trying to put together some, some good stuff for you here, guys. So with that said, um, as usual, give us a call at the number at the uh, end of the video and uh, be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.